Ayun, kasi after, ayun, after yung mga yung mga tinuro kanina, yun yung mga basics about the creativity. Ngayon, my job is to create uh, to teach you the business of it naman. Uh, it, so it don't need to have your own business. Etong ituturo kong techniques and uh, techniques is basically you can apply it as a freelancer or if magtatayo kayo ng sarili ninyong company ng business ng studio. Okay? Uh, yun. So una, so hindi pa kayo nakakapag-freelance work. Not yet. Sige. Uh, if if tanungin ko kayo, uh, if ako yung client, I want to hire you. How much would you charge me for your service? Go. How much would you charge me? Any Kung anong tingin mo your work, your skill is worth? Thousand? For, uh, as a, as in solo, solo photographer. Ten. Ten. You, sir? Oh, so, uh, kind of work for my parang 1K lang. 1K, okay. You know what You, ma'am? 2,000 user? 1K. 1K. So, uh, kasi sa pricing, merong tatlong factors yan. Merong tatlong factors para ko consider kung paano kayo mag-price. Una is your value. So, ano yung value? It basically, yun, yung sinabi ni sir, na in his line, tingin niya it's 1K. So, right now, that's what you think. Yan yung value na propose. Ang saan nang gagaling yan? Uh, either sa skills mo, sa level of experience, and sa portfolio. Yun yan, yung value. Pero aside from that, it's how much you think you're worth. Kasi sa isang, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. May nagpa-edit sa akin uh, na isang company. Chinarge ko siya. Guess how much? Edit. Edit lang. Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand. I charged para sa ano lang yun. Uh, Wala pang five minute na edit. Wala pang, wala pang five minute na edit. 70,000. So, siba, di ba? Uh, nagulat kayo lahat, parang 70, di ba? Kasi, that's the value I know. That's how much I know I am worth when it comes to editing. And, hindi pa ako yung nag-edit nun. Hindi ako yung nag-edit nun. Nag-hire ako, ang editor, na alam ko mas magaling sa akin, pero I charge the client 70,000. Ayos ba yun? Diba? So, basically, that's how, somehow, the business works. That's how you can leverage on your skills, on the, on the assets that you have to build uh, that kind of work, that kind of line of work. So, second is, syempre, the market. Who is your market? So, uh, Ikaw, sir, anong gusto mong gawin, sabi natin, line of job in the future? Anong industry? Wedding, corporate, commercial, whatever? Music videos. You, sir? Commercial, tapos weddings. Weddings. Yuma. Events. You, sir? Weddings. So, given na those are your market, sabi natin sa weddings. So, weddings, yun yung wedding market natin. You have to understand yung industry na yun. You have to understand the market. You have to understand kung sino yung target mo. Kung sa mga wedding, syempre mga, mga uh, brides and grooms to be yan. And then you have to check how much can they spend. Usually, uh, malalaman mo yan, if you ask, ask your client, client, pang ilan or top, ay, pang ilan mo pinaprioritize ang photo and video production. Sabihin yan. Or, give me your top five list yung pinaprioritize mo sa wedding mo. Unahin nila, syempre. Probably, depende, location. Diba? Or the, the church. And then the food. And then the coordinators. And then, usually, depende sa budget nila yan, madalas last yan last ang photo and video. Pero let's say si Jason Magbano. Familiar kayo with him? Jason Magbano. Famous wedding filmmaker. Local. Hindi nakalala si Jason Magbano. Jason Magbano. Ayun. He is able to charge his clients 300,000 for a wedding. 
team na yun. Hindi na siya nag-shoot dun. Hindi na siya nag-edit. Nag-edit siya minsan, papakita lang siya. He is carrying his plan. Dito papasok yan sa value. Ngayon, sa market, paano papasok sa market yan? Dahil meron siyang brand, dahil si customer, si client, gusto niya sobrang ganda ng wedding film. Yun yung pinaka-prioritize niya. So that client is more than willing to spend that much for the wedding. If mayaman talaga siya, if mayaman yung client, di ba? If mayaman yung client, that's probably top two yung service ni Jason. Pero in our, sen in our case, sabihin natin, as uh, starting out freelancers, nasa top 10 tayo, top 10 bottom. So you have to consider that. Unless you are really good, meron ka ng portfolio, then you can uh, go up the ladder. And if you have built a relationship. Later, uh, sa, marketing, sa marketing side, I will teach you guys how to build relationships para umakit, umakit kayo sa priority ladder nila. Okay? So sa market, sabihin natin sa commercial, commercial, you have to understand, again, kung sino client. Kung sabihin natin itong client na to uh, is generating millions every month. Mayaman sila, malaking client sila. Then that means that they are able to spend. Ngayon, if they are able to spend really big amount of money and then you price yourself too low, ano tingin mong reaction nila? What to turn off sila? Kasi they want to spend more. They want to spend more for something more valuable. Kasi one, although, syempre, pag, sa, pag nakita mo sa mga industry natin ngayon, if you price yourself too low, you are targeting cheap clients. But if you price yourself high, given that you have the right uh, branding, the right uh, background, you're able to position yourself as an expert. So you have to consider then your market. So if kaya ni client magbayad na mataas, give them your best. But of course, you have to be, you are able to deliver. Kasi kung nagumasa sila ng malaki, hindi na nagustuhan, mangyayari dyan, you will never see your videos or your work. Hindi nila ipapalabas yan. They wait babay ka. Gets? Now, the third is basically your your needs. Dito papasok yung how much you want to earn. How much you want to earn using your career. Ikaw, sir, how much you want to earn every month? Sabihin natin, nag-full-time ka as photographer. How much, how much do you want to earn every month? doing photography above 20 so above 20 nakita mo na yun. pero you have to consider is bucket 20 above 20 ikaw sir how much you order 100 good ikaw, sir, come on. 20 ikaw, sir. 50 now you have to understand why bucket nyo bucket uh, nyo pinarise yan kanina sabi mo 1000 di ba pero then after a while uh, 100,000 yeah. Siguro, I think, sana, dahil na-open yung idea mo dito sa value and sa market. Pero you have to understand why you are pricing that. You have to, it has to be justifiable. So, what, uh, kasi bine-breakdown natin yan. You just can't uh, get a figure out of thin air and then you present mo. It has to have uh, a background. Okay? So, we break down natin yung expenses natin. Sabihin natin sa shoot. Uh, sabihin natin, ikaw sir, sa isang, sa isang, sa isang, sabihin natin, hinire kita. Well, you do photography, videography? Uh, starting off. Uh, Ayan, sabihin natin, hinire kita. How much are your expenses? Uh, Every day? Like, okay, pinapunta like kita, hinire. Huh? Yeah, yeah ganoon. Sabihin natin, sige, gas. let's break it down. Huh? Uh, How much yung gas? Assume. 1,000, assume. And then? Tapos, food, probably 1,000. Yeah. Yeah. Sige. So, given na your expenses is 2,000 pesos, tas ipaprice mo sarili mo 1,000 pesos, is that a good idea? Talo pa. Talo, di ba? Talong talo ka pa. So, given na, uh, ang daily expenses mo is 2,000 pesos. You have to understand now, dito papasok yung needs, value in your market. So, ang mangyayari, ang lalabas dito is you place a markup. Diba? Para you earn. 
depending on your value. Kasi yung markups de depends. Pwedeng 10%, pwedeng 50%, 100%, 200%, 500%, 10%, 1,000%. Depending, depending on portfolio. Depending on how much value your work and your market. Yung needs, basically, these are your needs. Pero ang di mo pa consider sir, is how much ang monthly expenses mo. So let's consider natin ah. So uh, condo. Sabi na natin ah, for the sake of math lang, 10,000. What else? Groceries. How much? Uh, sabi natin 5,000. Bills, okay. How much? 3,000. Toys? Okay, so okay. So more on upgrades. Pero ito, uh, we won't we won't consider this yet. Yet ah, uh, ito muna basic needs. So basically, you are spending eighteen thousand, eighteen thousand uh, a month, and you said the bugs one hundred thousand a month. So wait, can you calculator? Because what? So basically, itong eighteen thousand. You have to break it down to how many days you want to work in a in a month. Sabi natin, in a 30 days, how often do you want to work? How many days in a month? Would that depend as long as we have offer my customer and as long as you're available? Pero ikaw, you set your own goals. Two, two weeks. 14 uh, days. Uh, 14 days work, 14 days break. Tama. So, basically, in order to break this down, Uh, divided by, then by 14 days, you need to make at least 1,285 per day. Per day, working for 14 days just to get by. Just to get by. Diba? Plus your expenses. Mo. Sabi natin, you spend 2,000 for 14 times. So that's another 28,000 just for to execute the work. Tama? So that is you are basically spending 46,000 every month. Work alone. Work alone. Diba? E paano pa yung leisure? Movies. Wala pa. So that is now why you want to market. So every project, sabi natin, so given now this is th these are your expenses. These are your expenses, your daily expenses per week. This is, these are uh, this is your monthly expenses. In order for you to achieve the one hundred thousand that you want per month, so we do one hundred thousand minus forty six thousand. Hey, minus forty six thousand divided by fourteen. So you have to at least charge yourself 3,857. Oh, sorry. Tama. No. Sorry. 100,000 divided by 14. Yeah, basically you need to charge yourself at least 7,000. 142 per project per project for 14 days in order for you to achieve the 1,000 I had the 100,000 a month Ngayon, 100,000 minus 46,000 that's 54,000 54 Tama? so basically you are marking so you are earning 54,000 getting expenses mo lang 54,000 I mean diba? pero malayo pa yun if you want really na if you really want na solid lang na 100,000, di pa kasama yung taxes, di pa kasama yung expenses natin. So you have to price yourself higher. Kasama pa rin yung taxes. Pagka 
Yes, pag magpa-price. Uh, pag registered ka, if you register yourself. Ang advantage kasi when you register is you're able to price higher. Kasi clients want a, a receipt. Diba? If wala kang receipt, syempre, uh, companies, they would want to, uh, they don't want to spend much na hindi na record Pero if they have receipts, they can record. They can reimburse it. Lalo na kapag VAT. Kapag, kapag VAT yung tax mo. Basically, you have to price yourself at least this one. To get 54,000, 100,000 of revenue minus yung expenses mo. Uh, to get uh, uh, 100,000 gross income. Diba? So, how can you break down your pricing? Kasi, ito, this one, this is basically parang the base, the most basic. How you can break down your, how you can break down your expenses for you to calculate, for you to be able to come up with your price. Ngayon, yung markup mo, yung markup mo would be dependent, again, on your value and on your market. Pero timo, yung example ko kanina na I was able to charge 70,000 for an edit na I did not even do. Diba? How much did, did I pay the editor? 15,000. Fifteen. One five. One five. So how much did I earn in, uh, get in return? Diba? So again, depends on the value, market, and your needs. But bali yung needs, it was already covered. You know? Now the reason why I'm teaching you this because I want to impart the mind of a businessman, the mind of an entrepreneur and an artist. Because it goes both ways, art and business. You can do art for passion, hobby, it's okay. But if you want to pursue it, you need to put business in it. Una, para hindi ka maloko. Pangalawa, para uh, you get earn out of what you're doing. You wake up every day happy because you're doing what you love. Tama? Uh, I, gusto nyo ba yun? Ganun? Diba? So, uh, sa business, uh, I'll give you uh, how I break down your services namin. Basically, uh, Ang, binib ang ibibigay kong example or yung service breakdown ng services namin for Avantgarde Creatives. Ito kasi Avantgarde Live to, di ba? Avantgarde Creatives is a video production company. Media production company. So, wait lang. Sorry. So, sabihin natin sa, sa isang commercial project kasi what we do, what we focus on uh, is on commercial commercial projects. Minsan, we do, we do events as well. Okay. Uh, breakdown. So, tatanong ko si client, what do you need? Ano yung scope? Sabihin niya overview. Uh, Jaggy, I need this. I need this type of shots. I need this type of video. I need this ganyan, ganyan. So I, I break it down. So, kasi ako yung nagde-direct ng mga commercials namin. So I put eh, before that pala, Sorry. In video, kasi there are five stages: uh, concept development. Dito kayo nagbe brainstorm, nagko concept, nagpe pitch ng ideas, nagpe pitch ng deck. We have pre-production. Pre-production is basically kung saan na ni ready yung materials for shooting. Third phase is yung production. Fourth phase, fourth phase is yung post-production. Fifth is yung delivery, finalization and delivery. Okay, so we break down natin yan. So sa concept, pre, prod, post, and delivery. Dito sa delivery, dyan papasok yung client servicing lahat. Pati dito, may, may client servicing ka dito, may client servicing ka. Well, at least for us, huh? So, sa concept, how much, kasi sa concept, may mga, may mga engineering factors na paggawa ng story, paggawa ng script, paggawa ng storyline, paggawa ng storyboard, ng pitch deck, basically. And we need to charge that. Hindi, hindi, hindi pwedeng libre yun. So, sino ang gumagawa nun? Sino ang gumagawa nun? Usually, ang nag-handle kasi ng concept, kasi uh, for every commercial project, meron kang account manager. Account manager. Kung, ikaw, kung ikaw rin yung account manager, basically, you're the one talking, dealing with the client. So, meron kayong uh, account manager. That's one. Siya yung pumunta kay client, mga mga pag usap mga pag coordinate and everything else. Meron din tayong, if ever, creative director. Tsaka, writer. So, ito kasi, what I'm, what I'm explaining right now is the system of a business, of a, of a whole company. Okay? And mamaya, may break down natin yung as freelancers when you're starting out. Meron tayong account manager, creative director, tsaka writer. Kailangan, if mag-hire, if may mga team kayo na ganyan, you have to ask yourself how much are these worth. If sabihin natin you are doing solo work, solo, solo ka lang ha, as in one-man team ka lang. So, may client ka, 
So, tatanong mo sarili mo, how much is your account management work? Yung pakikipag-usap mo sa client, pakikipag-deal mo, pakikipag-text mo, yung mga calls mo, and everything else. Again, factor in ko yung tinuro ko kanina. Same. Uh, analyze your costs, and then add a markup. So, account manager, creative direction, yun yung pag-isip ng concept. Kung paano, anong concept, anong treatment, ano yung flow, given sa overview nila. Normally, ito, ako rin gumawa ng creative direction. And I charge 30,000 for just the concept, the idea, the thought. Writer, yeah. If I hire, if I get a writer, or if if my writer kami, I also consider the fee of the writer. Okay. So, bina natin yun. For the sake of math, alita. One thousand, two thousand, one thousand. So that's a total of four thousand. Four thousand for the concept itself, lang. But the 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 figures are different. Ngayon sa pre-production, siya naman na papasok yun. Production manager. Uh, director, director team, and so on. So basically, you get kung sino yung mga tao. Okay? Try to analyze, itong mga sinasabi ko, try to analyze and apply it on your own, kahit sa photography, kahit sa, sa film, or sa, sa video. So get yung sa pre-production, sino yung mga tao, and then same, get a price. Production, yan, sa production, usually marami na yan, di ba? So dyan yung mga director, DOP, cinematographer, production assistants, production crew, and so on and so forth. Again, get the price. Post-production, same, get the price. Ngayon, kapag nakuha mo na yung lahat ng price na yun, sabihin natin, ah, assuming na lahat yan is 20,000, just for the sake of math then. And then, now you ask yourself, how much is your value? How much is your worth? For you, para makapagpatong ka ng markup. Sabihin natin, uh, sige, dahil sa dahil kaya naman magbayad ni client, kaya naman uh, may, may value naman yung ginagawa ko, I can charge 100% markup. So, you get 100% markup, so may 40,000. Basically, that's it. That, uh, the 100% markup is your profit. Kung sa, kung nasaan ka man dito, kung nasaan ka man, kung sabi natin ikaw ang director or ikaw ang photographer, kung ano yung price mo dyan, yun yung professional fee mo. Whatever you earn afterwards, after this, yung markup, that's your profit. Gets? No, nakakuha nyo ba? Okay? So, ganun din. Sa may mo, syempre, i-consider nyo rin yung miscellaneous. Miscellaneous such as yung food, gas, transport, client servicing, file storage, hard drive, and so on and so forth. You have to consider those. Include that, and then you have your final price. Yun, ito, yung, kung magkano yung lumabas dyan, yun yung binibigay mo yung client for approval. Kapag na-approve, edi magaling. Kapag na-approve, edi okay, di ba? You start your project. Same with photography. Ah. Don't get wrong, this is not just for film and video. Photography, same thing. Depende, kung may malaki kang crew. Kasi ang film kasi and video, malaki yung crew na kailangan, di ba? Whereas with Photographers, you just need you, uh, second photographer, your assistants, if ever, and then editors. Kung, or kung, kung ikaw rin nag-i-edit, yun. Kung ikaw ang photographer, ikaw rin ang editor, you have to consider both. Kung yung price mo for that too. Ikaw rin ang nag-handle kay client, consider that also. So include that. Questions so far? Ano man? Clear? Okay. Okay ba so far? Pricing? Ay, mabilis na lang. Yes po. Pagka, di ba may times po na nangyayari, napaparin yung budget? Hmm. Ni client? Oo. Ang ginagawa ko. Pag gano'n, ang ginagawa ko, sabihin natin, ito yung price ko. As in, ang kaya lang ni client is this one. Either I remove out factors to meet the price, or I sabihin ko, client, sige, I will go, I will retain the full package using your budget, pero you have to give me something in return. Trade. Barter. Parang barter trade. So, kunyari, sabihin natin na uh, mag, may deal na ako pa rin kukunin mo sa next event mo. 100% ako dapat. Hanggang ma-fulfill plus yung mga extents. Other cases, magkatanggal ka ng mga factors to make the cost lower. For either you can cut out people, cut out manpower or other services para ma-meet yung budget ni client. Okay? Uh, may mga instances talaga na babaratin ka ni client. If you're starting out, okay lang yun. At least you get to build the portfolio. You at least break even. Yung sa 2,000 expense mo, di ba? At least dun sa 2,000 expense mo, at least you break even. Para walang gastos. That's the lowest you can go. That's the lowest you can go. At least meron kang break even. Meron kang... Uh, kasi, kahit kapag nag-break even ka dun, even if, even if you did not receive anything monetary, what you have is something valuable. Yung product. Yung work. Kasi, you can then apply it for... Uh, for marketing to get other bigger clients. Lalo na kunyari kung ang 
um, sabi natin, nag-exdeal, familiar kayo sa exdeal. Let's say, assume lang na nag-exdeal si malaking client. Kunin nyo na. Kasi portfolio yun. At least you get to have it in your portfolio. You can now use that portfolio to get other bigger clients who can really pay you. Uh, may, may instance ako where uh, meron akong na, 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 nag-exdeal ako for a billboard. For a billboard project. As in, wala akong nakuha bayad. Siguro very minimal lang, break even lang. Pero I was able to use that portfolio, yung billboard na yun, and that portfolio to uh, get bigger clients. So out of that, I was able to earn more than 100,000. And my camera was just yung entry level DSLR. Ito. This one. This is a very cheap, low end camera. It's not even, di nyo man alam to kung ano to, di ba? Oh, red naman siya. Ang kailangan kasi yung joke yun, di ba? Uh, may red, it's maganda. Maganda. Pero this one, that's 1100D. 1100D. So it's a very low-end, entry-level camera. And yet, because of this one, because of that one, I was able to build, comp build a company. I was able to earn around 2 million pesos using this camera. Kasi I applied business. You know? Di, di naging madali, of course. So, nung, when I was starting out, wala akong alam about business. Kumakayad ako. As in, ang dami ko nagawang mali, ang dami ko nagawang errors, failures, and everything else. And now, I am sharing this to you guys kasi ayaw kong, I want you to undergo that failures. Pero as much as possible, bigyan ko na kayo ng mga tips para may shortcut kayo. Okay? And that's, ba that's basically the purpose of Avangard Live. 